Hi everyone, this is Brian with Anderson Pens, and today on My Favorite Pens, we're gonna talk about a Relief 2L. Let's take a look. So here we have a Relief 2L, and this pen was made in England by Conway Stewart for the Estabrook Pen Company. These were made uh, starting in the 30s, uh, they made them in a number of uh, different models, but the 2L is probably the, the most common. And what that stands for is it's a number two sized nib, and the L is for lever. So 2L is a number two sized lever filler. Uh, but this pen is just one of the most fantastic materials you'd ever want to see on a pen. It's a blue and bronze marbled casein and casein is a milk byproduct um, which has a tendency to deliver some really fantastic colors and uh, Conway Stewart was famous for using casein in their pens and you just can't get you can't get some of these colors and patterns in, in any other material um, just a beautiful beautiful combination with the gold trim it looks great uh, you're going to see here, starting at the top, we've got a hard rubber uh, end cap here on the top. And this red trim ring here is also made out of casein. And this is kind of like Schaefer's white dot, Parker's blue diamond. When you had this in your pocket, people would know the red band signified it was a Esterbrook relief. Um, so it's kind of a, you know, a, a signifier. Uh, we've got a nice teardrop clip. This is a washer style clip like on the dual folds. So if it does get bent, you can just literally unscrew this. You can bend the clip back into place and screw it back together. The 2L has a single cap band. And then the other identifying feature of the Model 2 is it has this shorter lever here with the round end. And then in the inside of the end of the lever here is an R and a circle for relief. On Conway stores, of course, these were CS, so the same same type of lever, and it says relief in uh, on the clip here, printed on the clip. But let's open this up and take a look. Screw cap. We've got a hard rubber section that's got a nice hourglass, and then as common to all reliefs, it has a left oblique or left foot relief, which is what that term was for nib and so this is uh, probably a double broad and many of them were broad double broad triple broad obliques they were really fantastic but it's got a lot of writing on the nib uh, relief 14 carat uh, the number on it and uh, made in England our Esterbrook and company and there's no doubt this is a an Esterbrook nib it's got it stamped all over it We've got a nice, plain, simple feed, something you'd see on every pen in the 1930s. There's no fins there. Um, you know, it does the job, it does it well. Um, screw cap and the lever. This is the one thing about these pens that was a little bit unlike everything else. The pen is made very well, but this lever has a real thin piece of metal at the end and if you if you don't if you're not very careful you can snap that off and the pen relief always have a little metal notch there and that helps secure the lever in place so it doesn't accidentally spring up and compress the sack and get ink in the cap or on your shirt so it locks it in, into a place which is a good thing but 70 80 90 years later it gets difficult because you have it forces pressure on that and you have to pull it up. And so you always have to be careful on relief not to put too much pressure on this because this part will bend and break off. But lever filler, it does a real good job filling up, fills only from the bottle, and then you can push this into place and you hear the snap. But what a great, great little pen. Um, you know, it fits really well in the hand, depending on where you hold it. Um, even uncapped, it's it's pretty decent, but these pens were made to be posted. Um, it just looks fantastic. Uh, writes real well. It's got a little heart breather hole on the nib, which is classic of the period. Um, got a black end piece there on the bottom of the barrel. 
It just really, it really an all around nice looking pen. There's not a lot of pens out there other than say lapis pens that have this kind of silvery blue in them. So it's always nice to see a different pattern. Uh, something that you know, say the big, big four weren't making that was just kind of a duplicate. Um, nobody else made materials like this. Now another common thing with casein is if it gets wet and what happens with a lot of these relief pens, you run your finger across the cap and you may feel a little waviness. And what happens is moisture from ink gets inside the cap, inside the inner cap, and it stays there and it can't dry out. And what happens is that it uh, reacts with the casein and then causes some shrinkage and eventually to the point where it'll crystallize and crack. Uh, this one does have a little bit of this waviness here. It's kind of hard to see. You kind of have to run your finger across it, but uh, um, it's still intact. And once it's, it's clean and stable, you're okay. But uh, if it started to crystallize and crack, you're in trouble. Uh, the case and band looks like it's in pretty good shape. Usually those will, uh, will, will, will crack and crumble. So sometimes you'll see these pens without the band. The, the, the black will just um, go straight down to the clip. And what ends up happening then is, is not only is this case and band serving as an identifier that you have a, a relief pen in your pocket, but it also is a spacer so that it allows you to screw the cap in correctly. If it's not there, then that sits back further and you can't really thread the, the, uh, the barrel all the way into the cap. So sometimes you'll find them without and if the barrel doesn't screw in, then that's, uh, that's one of the reasons why. But uh, really just a fantastic looking pen. It's, uh, it's really in good shape. Uh, relief for whatever reason, the, the levers have a tendency to be very lightly plated, but the trim, uh, cap trim rings are always very heavily plated. So these always look like new, and you can always see light little scratches on the lever. And uh, it's just really a fantastic pen. I, I, I like it a lot. I have a number of relief, but this color just always keeps calling back. So there you have it, the Relief 2L, one of my favorite pens. Be sure to check us out online at andersonpens.com or our stores in Chicago and Appleton.